good morning, Flare Fishing fam. Today we are doing something I have not done in quite some time, and that is an unboxing from just like straight up fishing lures. Nothing crazy. Hang on. Now you guys can't see the address. Don't want any creepers showing up at my door. Now, I don't know if most of you guys enjoy these or not. I know some people do, and so I'm kind of bringing them back for this video. Right behind me, it is 28 degrees and snowing, so I can't go fishing. The lakes aren't frozen yet, so I can't go ice fishing, so I'm just going to get right into it. Open this box up. Just going to show you some baits that I bought. Uh, maybe talk a little bit about them, why I bought them, stuff like that. I don't know. If you guys enjoy these types of videos, make sure you give this video a like. And drop a comment down below, and I'll continue to do them. Uh, anyways, let's get into it. I bought a lot of stuff. Wow. Dumping out like this was not probably my brightest idea, but you know what? We're gonna roll with it. So I'm just gonna go uh, kind of one by one. There's a lot of like duplicates, triples, quadruples of baits. Like I bought like a lot of the same stuff, but some of the stuff I, I mixed it up. So I'm just gonna try to go one by one and hopefully you guys enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna start off with these. I've got, uh, let's see, green pumpkin, green pumpkin, and black and blue flake of some uh, little creep. Okay, you guys can't see this. Hang on. I'm kind of playing with the lighting a little bit. I know some of you guys told me to uh, get some stuff in the background. Well, I haven't asked my landlord if I can put holes in the wall yet, so you guys are just going to have to deal with the plain background for now. Basically, flipping creature bait is, uh, is really all that dude is right there. It's one of my favorite ones uh, on the market. Just, I don't know. I just like the color and uh, the action that it gives off, so that is lure numero uno. We're going to go with this one. This is uh, lure number two. Got the old uh, son of a... The lighting in here, this window, it just doesn't work. It just has too much reflection. So I got two of these uh, plopper, whopper, hoppers uh, type deals. One in black and one in like a bone color. This is a bait that I haven't even... I haven't caught a fish on any of these before, but they look cool in the water. So you know what? I bought one. Actually, I bought two, and I think I have some on back order to try some of the smaller ones, some of the bigger ones. Anyways, they're a fun lure to throw, and a lot of people throw them, so that is uh, kind of what I what I was going for there. Is Obviously, I can't throw this anytime soon, given that it's freezing outside, but I wanted to kind of stock up for the, uh, the springtime. Next, we got two baits recommended by the man, John B. He gave me one of these, and I lost it, and so I ended up buying two more of them. These are uh, a little topwater frog, Japanese company, I believe. I don't know, he told me that they are some of the best the best frogs in the market. So I got one in like a, a kind of a natural color. And then this is the one that he gave me is uh, like a little black, little black one. So I don't know, I don't know if they're gonna catch any fish. John B sometimes knows what he's doing, so we're gonna give them a shot. All right, on to the, uh, the next baits here. We got three spinner baits. We got two white and white and chartreuse. I'll take one out of the pack. Those little pretty shiny little baits right there. So I got three spinner baits, like I said, two white and a uh, white and chartreuse. You can never have too many spinner baits. I, I have been throwing spinner baits all my life. Uh, it's something that I, I'm trying to throw more of because you guys see me throw the, this chatter bait a lot. So I'm trying to kind of mix it up, throw the spinner bait here and there just to make the videos a little more interesting. Now on to the good stuff. We got hella topwater lures here. All right, so I got topwater lures here. I'll go through them uno by uno. We got a uh, little splash popper. You can kind of see that little little popper there. I got, I think I got two of these, a couple different colors, some white, some some sexy shad looking stuff, um, and I got some some spooks. The old uh, the old Lunkers TV special little spooks. So I got I got three of those. I got a couple spook juniors and then the uh, the full size. And then on to uh, more top water. I think I got two frogs here. These are uh, these are some of my favorite frogs, little little popping frogs. There, just got some. Uh, what color is this? This is uh, natural green and natural. Just so you guys get an idea, that's that's the popping frog that I like to that I like to throw there. Little uh, little natural color. So we've got like a ton of soft plastics here. So I'm gonna try to go through these like relatively quickly, just to kind of keep you guys somewhat entertained with these boring videos that I'm making here. So I'm just gonna kind of put them together in categories and uh, start going through them. So I've got two packs of these uh, these little baby rage craws. They look a little something like that. These are actually way smaller than I thought they would be. I think I meant to get the full size, not the babies, but you know, it. I'll make it work, maybe some finesse jigs or something like that. So I've got black and blue, uh, black with blue flake, and then just green pumpkin. You guys will notice the pattern of my soft plastics is I usually buy two colors, black and blue, green pumpkin. Sometimes, sometimes I'll go with a watermelon red, if I know I'm going to fish in super clear water, watermelon red works, but 
Honestly, you go anywhere in the country, if you have either black and blue or green pumpkin, you'll catch fish. Right here, I have uh, two packs of little rodents. They look just like this. It's, it's kind of like the one creature bait that I first held up, but the, uh, oh wow, sick. Look, it's already broken. It's already, it's already missing, missing a pincher. Well, that's awesome. That was probably my fault. I probably just ripped it right out of there. But anyways, it's kind of like that first one that I held up, but this one doesn't have as much like flappy action. So usually you want to throw this whenever you're trying to like get through thick cover, because uh, otherwise sometimes appendages get hung up. Or if it's cold, uh, like it is outside right now, and you want something that isn't quite so like crazy flapping around and stuff like that, that's when you go with like a just basically a bait that doesn't have a ton of action. And I got those in green pumpkin and you guessed it, black and blue. Got some more uh, Rage Craw type deals. I'm not gonna take these out. They're basically the little ones, uh, a little bit bigger, and they're just the trailer. Uh, so I don't know, you guys can't see that all that well, but that little picture right there kind of shows what those are. I'm not gonna take this out. But again, green pumpkin, black and blue. All right, let's let's mix it up. We got some crankbaits. We got, we got hella crankbaits here. I didn't get like a ton of crankbaits. I got two cranks and uh, a lipless crankbait, it looks like. Uh, but we'll start with this guy here. That's uh, just a little small, little crankbait there, a little 1.5 size I think it is. And I got a gold, gold lipless. I know this lighting's kind of bad, guys. I apologize for that glare. And then, you guys know, I got the old, uh, the old standby, the old big nose bass and special. If you guys are getting bored, I am almost done. Uh, let's see, let's go with these guys right here. We got trailer hooks on trailer hooks on trailer hooks. And these are for mainly spinner baits and buzz baits. I got four packs of, uh, trailer hooks. I always talk about this in my videos is, you guys, if you're throwing spinner baits or buzz baits, you have to have a trailer hook. There are times when you don't want a trailer hook because the vegetation, 99.99999% of the time, you want a trailer hook, make sure you get a trailer hook. So speaking of kind of like chatter baits and stuff like that, I got a bunch of little swim bait trailers. I got some white ones, I got some black and blue ones, and I got some green pumpkin ones. So I normally use the white ones for my white chatter baits, the black and blue ones for my black and blue chatter baits, and the green pumpkin for my green pumpkin chatter baits. It makes a lot of sense, right? That's essentially what I use these little dudes for. They're just, they're good size. I mean, sometimes you can, you can upgrade, but these are, uh, these are kind of like a perfect little, little four inch, three and a half, four inch size. So I got three packs of those. Got some more uh, soft plastics here. Green pumpkin, black and blue again. These are, these are some, this is actually something I've never even thrown before. I just saw these and thought they looked, looked kind of neat. They are uh, just like your, your standard little craw, flappy, pincher thing. You could definitely just Texas rig it or put it on a uh, on the back of a, a jig or something like that as a trailer, but just something something a little bit unique. I know a lot of this stuff's kind of repetitive. It's black and blue, green pumpkin, a lot of cross, a lot of trailers, stuff like that, but it's just that stuff that I use like on an everyday basis is uh, stuff like that, you know, and so you might as well just stock up while you can. Speaking of trailers, I also got these tiny little dudes. I'm not gonna take them out of the package because they're not resealable. These are much, much smaller than I thought. These are a bitsy chunk little trailer, black and blue. Like I said, I don't know why I ordered half of this stuff, uh, but you know what I did? I got some double take frog hooks. These are for like your like your rivet toe type deals. I didn't have any weighted ones, so I ended up just buying a couple, couple of the weighted ones. You guys have seen in a few videos, I've started throwing the wobble head a little bit. I ended up getting some uh, one ounce wobble heads and I, I have like 11 16 or something like that. I don't have any one ounce, so I got some some big girls, some big one ounce ones for that offshore fishing that I plan to be doing in like six to nine months. But uh, yeah, so I got those. I got some uh, little dip and die there. You guys can see you dye your, your plastics chartreuse uh, for when that water is a little bit blue. This is one of John B's favorites, a uh, little speed craw here. Got green pumpkin. He's always throwing this on the back of jigs. He's kind of got me onto these and uh, little fish catching machines. Then we got some more John B. Parrot baits. These are some uh, little dream shots. Those dudes love throwing these for smallmouth, and I know I'll be fishing with them a bunch this coming up season, so I got them. They are just little, basically your little finesse worm. Lastly, I've got, I think lastly, I don't know, everything's just kind of piled up. I'm pretty sure I got it all. These little finesse uh, Ned Rigs, TRDs. I love throwing these in the spring. I can have 100 fish days easy with these in the spring. They don't catch a lot of big fish, but they just catch a lot of fish in general. But that's basically it. I hope this wasn't too boring. There was no fishing involved, I know. Um, I didn't talk a ton about the lures. I guess if you have any questions on these baits, I'll do my best to get back. Just drop a comment down below. But if these are kind of like a nice change of pace where like, you know, you guys always see me fishing and traveling, like this is kind of just a nice relaxing video. Just kick back and listen to me drone on and on about stupid baits that you probably don't care about. But if you did like this, make sure you leave a like. Um, 
And yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Maybe be like, hey, Flair, no more, never again. I don't ever want to see any of these videos. Uh, don't do these. Please don't. Uh, let me know. Uh, I have no idea if you guys like these or not. I know some people are like, hey, dude, where are the unboxing? You used to do unboxings all the freaking time. Yeah, I did. Um, I kind of stopped a little bit, but I might bring them back if you guys like them, so let me know. As you can see, I got a mess on my hands. My room is just, this isn't, this is my office, not my room. It's a complete mess. So, gonna spend the, uh, the next, the rest of the day basically picking all this up. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.